Let's take it to Oshun State where there was palpable fear within the premises of the Obafemi Awolowo University Teaching Hospital Complex, Ileife, as gunshots were fired sporadically by the police. The police say it is working to ensure there is no disruption in the ongoing examination being conducted to absorb some of the recently disengaged staff into the system. But findings by TVC News correspondent shows that about 200 of the disengaged staff were protesting to prevent the suitability tests from taking place, insisting they must be paid their 14 month salaries first. This led to the police firing gunshots to disperse them, while people, including staff, patients, and their relatives, scampered for safety. The Chief Medical Director of Bafemi Awolowo University Teaching Hospital Complex, Ilayfair, Professor John Ukeni, joins me on the news this hour. Good to have you join us. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. I, I want to, uh, if, uh, let me just start by asking you to confirm for us if there was any casualty um, following the, the shooting at the hospital complex. One, there was no casualty. Two, nobody was shot at. Live bullets were not used. But the security forces within the hospital and the Nigerian police were forced to use non-lethal weapons to dispel people, miscreants, who held members of management and willing uh, ex uh, examinees, locked us up in a house and were threatening. They, there was a mob that was threatening to kill, and some of them had dangerous weapons. We had to call on the Nigerian police and the Nigerian Navy to come to our assistance. And those miscreants were dispelled using non-lethal and non-life ammunition. All right, so let's get to the grievances of, of, of these protesters. Um, why is the management coming up with a suitability test um, at this time when the, the, the protesters said for, for 14 months they have not been paid their salaries since they have been disengaged? Thank you very much. I hope I'll have enough time to dispel all of the misconceptions, if you permit me. One, it is not true what they have said. Management has not come up with anything. The Federal Ministry of Health has directed management to look into the matter that occurred from 2022. Three people connived with some other members of staff. Those three people have been dismissed by the Federal Ministry. They swindled Nigerians, gave them letters, mass milled letters of employment to them. The employment procedure in Nigeria was not followed. They were not interviewed. They were not assessed. They were given letters that said they were employed. If the federal government wanted to employ them for the past one year or so, they would have been employed. I came in in September. I was given a directive to clean out our nominal role, and we have been doing that efficiently. But the miscreants amongst them, people who are not suitable for this procedure, have uh, not allowed the procedure to go on. They have been the cyber bullies, they have been the one threatened, and they are the ones that held this hospital for five days without police permit, locked it up, and we refrained from use of force, despite the fact that doctors were beaten, many people we could not treat. And they held this hospital to, uh, to ransom. We have been in constant uh, contact with the Federal Ministry of Health. There are uh, people from the Federal Ministry of Health, director level, are presently in IFE. They were held hostage with myself and some other members of the management today. When we saw that life was physically threatened, was when, for the first time, they were dispelled. They are carrying dangerous weapons. They were never employed here. Yes, they had letters of appointment given to them by people that have been dismissed by the federal government. Scam was but done. But we learned that... that... Those are the problems on the ground. Now the government wants to do a suitability test to see who is who. The miscreants right. among them have not subjected themselves to this. The doctors, the nurses, the pharmacists, the nurses, and everybody was willing to partake of this thing. Even those who are non-medical were all on ground but people that were carrying weapons were telling them in Yoruba, and they have this hospital to ransom. That is not the procedure by which people get jobs in the federal civil service. Yes, there is a lot of clamor and unemployment, but this is a tertiary institution. It is not a place for all commerce. That is the problem we are facing. Thank you. 
I and think the ministry has been communicated. All right, thank you so much for talking to Ross, uh, Professor John Okeniyi, uh, who is the Chief Medical Director of Bafemi Awolowo University Teaching Hospital Complex in Ileife.